And a lot of that goes back to funding and support and how quickly you put teachers in the classroom without the proper training, right? Can you teach a lesson? Yeah, I can follow a curriculum, but can you deal with behavioral issues by your teacher? Do you know how to pick your fights? That's where the real training comes in. So number three, the student should be prosecuted for disturbing the classroom. Okay, so prosecution doesn't mean that they're gonna be convicted. The point of prosecution is to get all the facts out and to see exactly what happened. The problem that we're having now is we're dealing with all of this through social media, through gossip, through news networks, everyone has their own agenda. If we have everyone kind of stand up in a court of law and everyone explain exactly what happened so we can get as unbiased a perspective as possible, then the truth can hopefully come out and we can move past this. Otherwise, it's gonna be haunting everyone forever for like all of this is gonna be, it's gonna be kind of a stain on everyone involved. The student shouldn't be prosecuted because it shouldn't even have gotten to a point where it should have been a criminal offense. Um, in South Carolina, the failure to comply with a reasonable, a reasonable command by a police officer is a misdemeanor at best, a hundred dollar fine. So if he wanted to charge her, he should have given her a misdemeanor, not he shouldn't have arrested her. And he assaulted the student first, he created the situation that they're probably going to end up trying to charge the student with assault. So he escalated the situation when he should have de escalated the situation. And so, for even prosecution to happen, it shouldn't have reached that point. The officer should have been the one in control if it is a child. And that is what I believe is the most pertinent to the case. That it's a child in the situation. He's the adult, he is the authority, and he abused his authority when he put his hands on her first. And she retaliated because he used, he used aggressive force that was unnecessary to the situation. May I respond? <laughs> is disturbing the classroom a crime? Is it a crime? No. No. But that's what she charged with. You know, it's just she's doing the best I can. She's charged with disturbing. How many of us in high school, in middle school, have disturbed the classroom? Never. Never ever. <laughs> right? Like, so, from our personal experience, we see how ridiculous this is. Like, disturbing the classroom is considered a crime. Yeah. But she's charged with disturbing the classroom, and so is Naya Penny, the one person, the one person in that classroom 